<laughs> Natural disasters have continued to wreak havoc across the country, not only destroying property and displacing hundreds of people, but also led to the loss of life in some cases. On Wednesday, several people were displaced after River Semliki and River Wamala bust their banks. <laughs> According to the Ministry of Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, over 10 people have been killed following landslides in Kisoro and floods in Rwanda and Ruchiga this week. This is the road connecting Buloba to Nsanji. Following the heavy downpour, it's been cut off for several days by waters from Mayanja wetland. It's just one of the many places across the country suffering from effects of heavy rains. In March, weather experts warned of different disasters across the country during the first rainy season between March and May. The State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Esther Anyakun, says despite earlier warning, several people in disaster-prone areas did not heed to calls to relocate. We are doing our best to see how we can respond. But it's also unfortunate that we are doing a post-mortem, yet we passed information to the country that it's going to be this situation. So I want to urge you all the leaders of the, the, the mentioned districts and also the districts surrounding uh, Mount Elgon to make sure that we evacuate our people. She also blames some of the ongoing disasters on continued degradation of the environment. Uh, first of all, the vice of, uh, of uh, people building in wetlands. In September 2022, government launched the disaster management plan aimed at addressing some of the issues caused by disasters in the country. However, it is yet to receive any funding for its implementation. At least we should be in position to, to, do, to mitigate um, very well as, 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 as a ministry and also as Office of the Prime Minister. Right now we are just depending on um, the, the, the little cash that we get from uh, our quarterly releases. Meanwhile, Uganda Red Cross says it has mobilized non-food relief items to support families affected by the disasters in Kisoro and the validation exercise is underway ahead of distribution tomorrow. So we have mobilized non-food relief items and OPM will deliver food. She says given the high demand for relief support to different affected districts, Red Cross and the Ministry of Disaster Preparedness intend to use a phased approach to relief distribution. But about 22 are worst affected. So we are going by the numbers by the numbers and the relief stocks that we have. So the next district we have is going to be Bulambuli and Kasese. They'll equally be next on the agenda. Nakasita adds that beyond relief distribution, their teams are working to strengthen the coping mechanism of the affected communities. And when we leave, what will happen? People have to develop coping mechanisms. People have to see how to survive even without the relief that we are going to give. Over the last 10 years, the country has experienced a wide range of disasters that have cost lives, property, and led to mass displacement and loss of livelihoods, with authorities now calling for more action to protect the environment. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.